It's really hard for me. The Deacon Lee has been doing it almost every day. And I've said nothing. Because he's threatened me, threatened to kill me, threatened to kill Jason, threatened to kill Erica. And this has been going on nonstop. And I can't take it anymore. But I'm fearful of my life right now. And you know what? I'm so glad you came and told us today. All right? So is there anything else you want to tell me? I don't think I can go back here. I can't take it. I can't take it, but I, if I don't go back, then Jason may get hurt. Erica may get hurt. She's already crying. She thinks it's her fault. You know, that I'm getting beat. I can't take it. I can't do that to them anymore, but I, I don't know what else to do. Thank you. So where are the children at right now? They're the outside. Okay, so they're safe. Yes, they're okay, safe. Okay, so you're safe. I'm not safe. Right now, you're safe. You're in a safe place. You're in my office. This is not going to go any further than you and I. The only person I may have to tell is if I'm um, going to have to have somebody look at the children and bring them to the church. If you decide that you don't want to go back. So what I need to know from you is what do you want to do? And if you don't know right now, that's fine. But I want you to think about that. I don't know. Because I gotta think about Erica, I gotta think about Jason. What if he goes over to my sister's house and just snatches them out and starts beating them? What if he takes them away from me? Okay, but has he done that yet? Has he ever gone to your sister's house and confronted her? No. Okay, so right now I want you to stay safe over there. And I don't want you to worry about that. The first thing we're gonna do, because you don't know what you wanna do, is we're gonna try to come up with a plan to keep you safe today. So let's start with today. Okay. All right? Okay. Wow. Nice. Beautiful. What was the number one thing that was done correctly? You separated her from, the, from her, where she was, where she asked you for the conversation through you your office. Private. Privacy. What was the second thing that was done was even equally as important? The empathy. The the empathy. empathy. You took it into her. You took away... You didn't say, well, this is what I can do. You said, what would you like me to do? The empowerment, right? Mm -hmm. So beyond separating her from the public, where someone else can hear what was going on, and we didn't know who knew him, beyond the, the empathy, it's the listening. Mm -hmm. and you, also and made a get, you also made physical contact. Yes, but you that know. you have to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. is why. Yeah. They go back to what she said about touching a person yes. and slapping your neighbor high five because mm -hmm. you don't know who slapped mm -hmm. the night before. And what you'll find is that a lot of victims don't want to be touched. Mm -hmm. So in this context, I was just assuming that because her and I have this um, relationship within the church, right, that I can do that. Mm -hmm. Right? But we have to be careful with that physical context because some of them don't want to be touched. Right. And it's not you. But it's their situation. Right. Right. It's not even them. It's their situation. But the listening is very, very, very crucial. You have to listen to what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Right? So you saw how I was able to bring her down, to de-escalate her, because even though she was safe in the moment in my office, and the children were safe with her sister, she was still in fear. Mm -hmm. In total fear. So that's why I said, has he ever gone to your sister's house? Right. So that wasn't for me to really know if the kids were safe. For but her. that was for her for to her. start right. being able to become de-escalated. So now, what can happen because she don't know what to do, she'll now have a peace of mind with her children. Because remember, most of the conversation was about what? The children. The kids, 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 the kids. The kids, the kids, the kids. So I needed for her to be able to get grounded in the moment that the kids were safe. But the only way I could have done that was if I listened. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of times we're quick to hear a person say something and we want to respond back. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then we miss out. And she stood up and she said that the greatest form of communication is not what you say at your mouth. It's the ability to hear what that other person is saying. Right. Because when a person is speaking to you in that context, or really any context, they're not really speaking to you for a response. They're speaking to be understood. Mm -hmm. Especially. 
in that situation. No, I think yeah. it felt she actually knowing you're about to place the car back in her hands. Yes. Mm. Right, exactly. That's the job. She, did, That's she, didn't, good. she didn't recognize that. Mm. But she had to click with that moment because within that moment, you actually reverse the power with her to let her know, know what, okay, it's you that's in control. Because she think about the kids, but you ask them, what do you want me to do? So in return, it's like she responded to what does she want. So she has the power to make the decision Absolutely. what she wants to do from there. And yeah. that's the second mistake that we make. What we exactly. do is that we go into the rescue mode. Yes, yeah. we exactly. About that. Superman, right? Because pastors, we're yeah. leaders, we're, yeah. oh, the great savior. Yeah. Yeah. And we take the control yeah. without giving the individual the control right. that they need. You know need. why? Because we're the leader. We're in charge of the ministry, we're in charge of the church, so now I can do this. But that's not how it works. Oh, One of the things that I really love that you did was that in that a moment of safety where it kind of brought her back into normalcy as opposed to living in fear of going back right now. Um, yeah, right now. now. That's I true. Right now, I can get what I need to get. That was, that's and true. And that really was really awesome. That's Thank true. You. Because yeah, that's, that's true. She created the now moment. Yeah. That's what you need because their life is nothing but fear. And so when you come across somebody, you ask them, what do you want to do? I don't know. That's how victims are. They don't know because everything they do is about what the battle is going to do based on what I do, based mm -hmm. on what I say, based on where I go. So they don't know. So their indecision is not an invitation for you to say, okay, so now this is what I'm going to do. That's for you to bring them back into the present. And after you bring them back into the present, then you help them figure out what they can do. It's not about what you want them to do. It's about what can they do to get that sense of power back. Yeah. You know, as I say, also, what you did was, you gave her the control because not only was she worried about herself, but like you said, she was afraid for the children. Right. Well, the children, you said, where were the children? Oh, they're at their aunt's house. Fine. So they're safe for the moment. And they said, well, he may go do this, he may go, but he didn't yet. As far as you know, he's never done anything, you know, at your sister's house. He hasn't done anything. Right. So it's like, okay, so that took away that fear. It's like, okay, the children are safe. You're worried about the children. The children are fine for now. Let's worry about you and how can we get you safe? You know, yeah. what would you like to do next? What can we do for you next? Mm. That's the conversation right there. Kim? Oh, I was just going to um, ask a question. In addition to active listening, um, would you say it's also, this is for everyone else, would you say it's also important to pay attention to people's actions? Yes. Your body work. Yes. Because in, in addition to hearing you, yes. you can also see how your body relaxed. So it was yes. like, yeah, you know, I kind of do feel safe right 